Hello and welcome to the channel. If you love most things 1980s but not limited to, then search no further, you come to the right place. So please subscribe. Thank you. Folks, we are going to get back into some more Genesis off their 1987 live Wembley concert. Bam! Right here. I'm very excited to do this. This is another um, another one of my favorites by these guys called Tonight, Tonight, Tonight. This is track number this is track number seven off of this concert but I have never heard this song a live performance of this song um, so I'm very excited about that but the song itself I love this song it's a great tune get my phones on today is a twofer for Genesis if you guys didn't catch the land of confusion go check it out all right this up All right, guys, tonight, 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 let's go. Hello. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we carry on with any more music, I'd like to draw your attention to a couple of uh, wonderful gentlemen up here on stage with us. For those of you that might not know too much about Genesis, we are in fact on record, Tony, Mike and myself. But for the last nine years, when we've come on tour, we brought this young man with us. Would you welcome please on the guitar and the bass guitar from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Mr. Fabulous himself, Mr. Daryl Stammer. <laughs> Thank you, man. And also, in the blue corner, representing Los Angeles, California, would you welcome, please, celebrating his 10th year with us this year, the backbone of Genesis Live on the drums, Mr. Chester Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> ten years, wow. At that point, ten years, that's pretty cool. And now, tonight, tonight, <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I never knew that the uh, the keyboards made that. Ding, 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 ding. I thought that was like a. Um, I don't know. I thought it was something in the percussion.
back that up a little bit, guys. I got a question about that. Man, that sounded so cool. That whatever that was that they added into that was was so cool. It makes me wonder. Not just these guys. I've seen other bands that add uh, things like this into a to a song that obviously is not on the original version. It makes me wonder if this was part of the or or if this was actually part of the original version. Does that make sense? Like if they intended to write the song this way, and then maybe some maybe somebody from the label or uh, in the production or maybe just uh, people in the band uh said you know what maybe we'll take this out uh it's not fitting right or whatever i mean it obviously is i think it sounds terrific wish they left that on the original version but any of you guys ever think that when you see a band do something uh like that that obviously is it's not little things this was not a little thing this was a huge thing um uh, that maybe that was intended to be written like that in the original version sorry it took me a while to get that out but you know what i mean um, so let's continue on with that. It sounds so cool. Struggled a little bit there on that one.
Man. That song. How can I put this? That song has such a nice flow to it. It just, uh, I don't know, it just captures you, man. It just, it just gets you so involved in the song. It just flows so nicely. This was a, this was a terrific performance of this. But yeah, uh, sorry I, I paused it in the middle of that. I probably could have waited to the end to talk about that. But those kinds of things always make me wonder about, um, you know, what, what really, how a song was really written, you know. Uh, or it could have just been something that they just decided to just throw in for, a, you know, to do live performances. But um, this was just absolutely killer. This concert has been absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'd like to see if there's, uh, or you guys would probably know. I'm sure there's like a DVD of this, but is this something that was back in the 80s when this came out or released? Uh, did it come out on VHS? Did it come out on uh, cassette or CD or anything like that? I'd like to know if this is for purchase on, um, well, not necessarily DVD. I'd like to have something in my, um, in my truck or, you know, something like that to pop it in. But you guys let me know about that. But anyway, guys, we're almost finished with this, with this concert, um. Like I said, there's a few on here that I've already done, so I think we only got like maybe four more left to close this thing out. So then we'll have to find another live version to do. Uh, Phil sounded freaking awesome on this, man. There's only one little spot there where uh, towards the end where it seemed like he was struggling just a little bit with it, but I'm, I'm not blaming him for that. That was a hell of a note that he was hitting. He was putting a lot of power behind that. Um, but other than that, man, it was a flawless victory. So... Guys, I dug this, man. If you guys like the reaction, uh, please consider subscribing. Hit the bells, hit the likes, hit the comments, hit all that good stuff. Until the next one, you guys take care.